Good evening, I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin at 6 o'clock with breaking news. First responders are on the scene of a fatal train incident in Montecito. Montecito Fire confirms a teenage boy was struck and killed by the passing train. This was near Fernald Point. That's about a half mile south of Miramar Beach. News Channel reporter Tracy Lair joins us now live from the scene. Tracy? Beth, CJ, even after this happened, we saw someone with a fishing pole taking this shortcut. Now, this happened just south of us on the tracks, and we just saw a surf liner southbound go that way. They cleared the tracks already, but there are people here taking measurements. It appears that this young person was heading to the beach in a place that is considered a shortcut to get to Fernald Point. And neighbors here know it all too well. There have been tragic accidents here, and there have also been incidents where it looks like people got on the tracks on purpose. But this does appear to be an accident. Uh, we talked to one Fernald Point neighbor, and he said he has reached out to Amtrak because he wants to close off these shortcuts. Here we here's what he had to say. Oh, well, it was inevitable, you know. I've mentioned to, to them before about this a, these accidents happening and people accessing the cove down here. Uh, that the only way down to it is from a chute that's up to the up to the railroad tracks. And this uh, man even remembered that in March of 2017, on a Saturday afternoon, an 18-year-old high school senior uh, was killed in a similar location. And he has asked repeatedly uh, for a way to stop access to Fernald Point. There are longer ways to go around, but this is an issue here. And we'll have more information about this incident tonight as we get inform more information from Amtrak and also Montecito Fire that was responding. Reporting live in Montecito, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.